What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Zeltex here. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, Lenara's build. She has a basic attack build and a poison build. Her basic attack build is very good for burst damage. Uh, and then her poison build is really good for AoE damage and usually ends up doing more damage at the end of the game. So I'll do, I'll show you guys your basic attack build first. So for your first talent, you want to take uh, nature perspective because it reveals your target if your poison is on them. Uh, if your next level four talent, uh, a lot of people take Skybound Wisp because I mean it's weak. You gotta just auto hit it for one second, but once it dies, we reveal the area for an extra four seconds after dying. Uh, the other one that could be very situational that you can use is Dividing Wisp. Uh, for your level seven talent, you want to take Wild Vigor. Uh, it increases your next four basic attacks by 50%. For your level 10 talent, I like to take Leaping Strike. It helps keep on top of the enemy so you could really use your basic attack damage to your advantage. Uh, Thornwood Vine is also good. I mean, you can't really go wrong with either one, but I like Leaping Strike better for your auto attack build. For your level 13 build, I would suggest taking Greater Spell Shield. It's a very good talent and it really helps out with your survivability, especially since you're kind of trying to keep close and keep on top of somebody and kill them really quick. For your level 16 talent, take Invigorating Spores. Invigorating Spores? I don't know. But take that because it increases your attack speed by 50% for 6 seconds. For your level 20 talent build, I would take Galloping Giant. I mean, that's very helpful because I mean, you can use that defensively or offensively. It increases your movement speed by 80% for 6 seconds. Uh, Boundless Stride is also really good because you can leap onto allies and both charges are given back to you every 20 seconds. Uh, Abolishing Magic is very good for situational reasons because it'll remove all stun root silences and damage over time effects for you and an ally. And for the next, for two seconds afterwards, everything is reduced by 50%. So that's your auto attack build. Next I'll show you her poison build, which is usually the preferable build because it does a lot of AoE damage and you end up doing a lot more damage at the end of the game. Um, so for your first talent, you want to take natural perspective still. It's really good. Um, for your level 4 talent, still take Skybound Wisp or you know divide Dividing Wisp, whichever one is situational. For your level 7 talent, I would take Splintering Spear. It helps spread your poison like on all your targets because it makes your basic attack hit up to three enemies. So that's very helpful to help spread out the damage. But I see a lot of people taking Siphoning Toxin, which can be good, but it's really not necessary. I mean, if you're not going to take Splintering Spear, I'd recommend just taking Wild Vigor, which could help. So for your level 10 talent, I definitely take third Thornwood Vine. It's really good just to do more AoE damage, and you can hold up the three charges, so... I mean, if they're all grouped up, I mean, you can spam that, and it will do a lot of damage. For your level 13 build, you definitely want to take Unfair advan Advantage. It increases your nature's toxin by 50% at, when they're slowed. So that helps out a lot to increase the damage of your poison. For your level 16 talent, I see a lot of people taking the attack range, which increases your range by 50% 50, 50 for 6 seconds. Uh, so that kind of helps you to stay back away from everybody and keep on keep your poison on everyone and do a lot of damage. For your level 20 talent, uh, I would most likely take Forest Wrath. It increases the range by 30% and speed by 20% and your vision radius by 35%. But what I like most about it is it increases the range of Thornwood Vine by 30%, and so that helps to, you know, hit as many enemies as possible and to do a lot of a, a lot more AoE damage. Uh, Abolish Magic is always good to take for situational reasons, and then Galloping Giant also situational reasons. So there you go. There's two of Lenara's builds. She's a very good character. She's very doesn't have a lot of health, so you gotta be really careful with her. But she has 20% increased movement speed at all times, which really helps. 
Now I'll show you highlights of two gameplay videos of her basic attack build and her poison build. So for this match I'm going to do the auto attack build. Alright, so for this match, I'm going to be doing the poison build. Uh, it plays a little bit different than the auto attack build uh, because now you're trying to stay far away from the people other than trying to get up in their faces. So. Alright, there you guys go. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, please give me a like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you want to see content like this. I'll do all sorts of games. I'm not just focused on Heroes of the Storm. I like to play Blade and Soul, which I like to make videos for that, and a couple other games that I'll uh, give video out to help for you guys. So, thanks for watching. This is Deltex, and I'll see you later.